Ooh. Okay, so, <clears throat> dude, you mad because your three year old got checked at, uh, by TSA and the they got pat down. Listen, your child is in a wheelchair. Let me tell you something. I worked at Home Depot where, where a motherfucker would have put a, a, a brand new, a new, a brand new born baby, five weeks old, and have a five weeks old baby in a baby care that probably have about five hundred dollars worth of electrical wire stolen with a baby sitting on top of it. And you worried about your three year old getting pat down? Let me tell you something. No offense when I say this, but I pat that motherfucker down too. Simply because that's that man's job is to see what's going on. If you if that was another child going through that, would you have really stayed there and recorded it? Honestly, you wouldn't have sat there and stayed and recorded that situation because you wouldn't have gave a damn. You only gave a damn because it was your three year old. You may have a bum up under there. We don't know what's going on. You may have some kind of powder form, some anthrax. We don't know. That's his job. Don't get mad. And my three-year-old, if I had a child, he was three years old, and he was in a wheelchair and had to pat him down, pat his ass down. Shit. And matter of fact, if my if I saw somebody else going through there with their child, a TSA not patting down a child, I'm going against a, a, another TSA person to tell to pat the TSA person down and the goddamn baby in the uh in the wheelchair, or the baby stroller, wherever the hell he is. But uh, you worrying about a pat down at the airport? Let me tell you something. Three years old, black people, we we get pat down at the goddamn library. So what you saying?